because the region that I come from, which is Central America, the five smallest countries of all our region, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Honduras, and Costa Rica, right now, two of them, Nicaragua and El Salvador, are ruled by socialism of the 21st century. So how can I negotiate as a bloc when I have two countries that are not willing to open to free trade? And for these three ways to work, you need to understand something about Latin America. I had two slides, uh, uh, two pictures, if, if we could put them on, please. The first thing is Latin America has always been ruled by dictators. Then uh, Fidel Castro comes in, and he is successful in making a Marxist guerrilla. In the moment that Castro comes in and he makes a Marxist guerrilla, all the countries in Latin America start copying and pasting that model. You had Marxist guerrillas everywhere, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Peru, trying to do the same thing as Castro, financed by the Soviet Union and with the intelligence of Cuba. 1989 comes, the Soviet Union collapses, and the left Marxist uh, wing of Latin America, the socialist uh, sectors, they are in trouble because now they don't have the money of the Soviet Union to keep on going with these violent guerrillas, but they still want to come to power. So what do they do? Well, Fidel Castro gathers together with Lula da Silva, and they form the first Forum of Sao Paulo. The Sao Paulo Forum is a parliament that every year gathers together to further on the socialist agenda. And they start working on 1990. In 1998, they put their first president, Hugo Chavez. And that was a relief for Cuba because the money that the Soviet Union was lacking to give, the oil of Venezuela started giving. And now that the oil prices are coming down, they are hoping for Colombia to advance on the agenda to give FARC, the Marxist guerrilla drug dealer of Latin America, places in power. If this happens, we're going to have the first